Hello guys. Today we have brought the best action and crime movie crank to high voltage. The story is as follows. Cheerios confronts a Chinese gang who have stolen his near immortal heart and replaced it with a battery powered ticker that requires a regular supply of electricity to keep it functioning. So without further ado let's go to the movie. The film opens with a sequence designed to look like a classic video game, showing the life of Chev Chelios. In the final moments of the original version of, Crank, Jason Statham falls out of a helicopter. Immediately after his fall, a group of Chinese emergency workers shoveled him off the road and carried him away from the accident scene. He wakes up in a makeshift hospital and witnesses doctors removing his heart while Johnny Van Art Shoot looks on. Doctors placed Chev's heart in a padlocked red cooler box and implanted an artificial heart made of clear plastic into his chest. Cheb faints. Cheb regains consciousness a short time later when an Asian woman takes his temperature rectally. Two doctors arrive and discuss plans to remove more of Cheb's organs, including his penis. Cheb punches the doctors and stands up. He notices that it has a yellow battery and walks down the hallway, leaving the battery attached. The other rooms are inhabited by prostitutes, and he steals clothes from one of the rooms without the residents noticing. Caught in a gunfight outside, she interrogates the thug and learns Johnny Van's name and location, Cypress Social Club, so she goes looking for him. On the way, Chev finds a cell phone in his pocket and calls Drive. Miles Dwight Yoakam telling him that he has implanted in a BioCore artificial heart. When the external battery runs out, the internal battery turns on and it takes him an hour before it stops working. After the call, Chev asks a nearby driver the location of his club Cypress his social, but mid-call his car crashes and the external battery is damaged. To move on, Chev has a driver attach his jumper cables to him and runs to Cypress's social club. Upon arrival, Chev accidentally saves a prostitute, Leah Bai Ling, from an abusive fat customer. Leah kills her guest and she immediately falls in love with Chev. She claims he is Kevin Costner and Whitney Houston, the bodyguard, etc. Van escapes, still holding the cooler with the red padlock, and Chev wants nothing to do with Leah, but she insists that Leah knows where Van is. She takes Chev to a strip please, where Chev is shocked to find his old friend Eve Leiden, Amy Smart. Apparently, the public sex scene in Crank made her more interested in sexual adventures, and she thought he was dead. Chev learns that three months have passed, and is not interested in the first film. It turns out that the phone message he left her at the end of backquote backquote the wind, unintelligible. Van is cornered in a back room by a group of Mexican gangsters led by Chico, Joseph Julian Soria, and he cuts off the man's elbow to show he means business. Van agrees to give Chev to them and apparently runs away. Chev confronts the Mexican and a gunfight ensues. Everyone is shot by Chibu except Chico, who escapes through the back door. Chev interrogates the injured gangster and tells him that El Huron, Clifton Collins Jr., is trying to kill him, but he doesn't know why. Chev picks up Eve and the two of them start walking. A group of police officers met him outside and they started beating him. While he was weakened, one of them accidentally used a taser to attack Chev. Chev steals a police car containing even another stripper and the stripper tells Chev to check out a Hollywood racetrack for Johnny Van. They encounter a group of porn stars protesting low pay, and Chev is forced to flee, leaving Eve in the back of a police car. At a nearby park, Chev steals a dog's electric collar from a gay couple and uses it to give himself an electric shock. 
Cheb was about to be picked up by the police, but Venus, Efren Ramirez, came to pick him up on a motorcycle, but Venus was Cuero's younger brother. He also suffers from systemic Tourette syndrome. At first, Cheb tells Venus that everyone responsible for his brother's death is dead, but this causes Venus to leave. Cheb needs help and tells Venus that El Huron was involved but managed to escape. Cheb loses his nerve at the racetrack. He calls drive, Miles and learns that the heart can become electrically charged through skin friction. He befriends several of the truck's regulars, including Chester Bennington, who also had a cameo in the original film, and an old lady, but eventually Eve shows up and does a great job of cheering Cheb on. Cooperate. They have sex on the course as the crowd cheers, and Chev is reinvigorated. Chev spots Van, leaves Eve behind again, much to the crowd's dismay, and chases Van through the parking lot. However, Van escapes, and when Don Kim, the Chinese gangster who saved Cheb's life in the first movie, comes to pick him up in a limousine, Cheb is about to be overpowered by security guards. Dong Kim informs Cheb that a triad leader named Poon Dong, David Carradine, is in need of a heart transplant. When he heard that Cheb had the ability to resist China's adrenaline poison, he gave the order to remove Cheb's heart. Dong Kim tells Cheb that he wants to take him back to Poondong for a reward. Hearing this, Chibu kills all of Dong Kim's henchmen, including the limousine driver, and shoots Dong Kim several times. The limo then crashes and Chev steals another car. Meanwhile, Eve is arrested and Venus calls Orlando, Rhino Wilson, to help find El Huron. Chico reports his failure to El Huron, who forces Chico to cut off his nipples. While driving, Cheb is stopped by an ambulance. He gets into the ambulance and is surprised to see that the paramedics are taking care of Dong Kim. He requests a new battery for his artificial heart, and paramedics have to stop work while they connect it. After Dong Kim dies, Cheb gets out of the limousine when he sees Johnny Van on the street outside. Chibu hides, but Leah reappears and is hit by a passing car in an attempt to get Chibu's attention. Van attempts to flee in his car, but the car drives off, leaving him behind, and Chev chases Van to a power plant, where a Godzilla-inspired fight ensues, with Chev and Van wearing the actor's exaggerated cartoon mask, a stuntman wearing a hat continued a small fight. Power Plant Stage After the victory, Chev discovers that Van's red cooler box contains something other than his heart. Chev claims it is highly aggressive, but it is never revealed. Chev calls Drive, Miles again and learns that his heart has already been transplanted into Pundin, but he promises to find him for Chev's sake. Chev goes to ask Johnny Van, but Johnny Van is shot by Chico and Chev is knocked unconscious. There's a sort of dream sequence that shows Chev as a young man, while his mother, Jerry Hallowell, talks about his violent tendencies as a boy on Luke Cannard's show. Eve is interrogated by the police, but refuses to betray Chibu. Doctor. Miles lures Poon Dong with his assistant chocolate and knocks him unconscious. Cheb is awakened by an electric shock to his testicles and is towed by speedboat to the island where El Huron is waiting. El Huron tells Cheb that he is Verona's third brother and is very angry that Cheb killed Ricky, Jose, Pablo Cantillo, and Alex Verona, J. Scala. Explain that it is standing up. He says he's going to take out a new battery and kill Chev, but he's fun to watch, and drags Chev into a white tent in the pool area, where he reveals Ricky Verona's head in the morning. The tank remains alive, by a group of scientists like Stephen Hawking who speak with electronic voices. Chev is whipped and nearly killed for Verona's amusement, 
but chaos ensues when Orlando, Venus, and Leah show up, each with their own group of gunmen. Venus tries to defeat El Huron with nunchucks. Chev destroys Verona's tank and throws her head into a pond as she needs water but is slowed down. He climbed a nearby telephone pole and grabbed a wire to try to charge it, but was thrown off when he made contact. Venus fights El Huron and is nearly defeated, but Cheb reappears, partially ablaze with electricity. He bludgeons El Huron to death, still burning, and throws his body into the pond next to Ricky's head. Cheb, who is in a hallucination, tries to hug Leah thinking it is his girlfriend Eve but he accidentally sets her on fire as well and runs away screaming. With his flesh on fire and his face melting, Chev walks toward the camera and gives the audience the middle finger in the film's final moments. The first part of the credits shows Doc Miles reinserting Chev's heart though we don't know what he does with Poon Dong as Eve looks on due to the fire. Cheb is covered in bandages all over. Closing parenthesis dot. At first it seems like a failure, but after everyone leaves, Cheb's eyes open and we hear his heartbeat. Everyone leave a comment and let us know how this movie is. Then we will meet another day 